Hello students, this is Mr. David. Again, reading the Young Post for students while you're stuck at home. And today, again, before we start, let's thank the South China Morning Post and specifically thank you to Nicola Chan writing this article February 13th, 2020. The headline is What do Hong Kong students think about the extended school suspension? Extended means to make something longer and the suspension here is the school closure. The schools are closed. That is a suspension, okay? The Education Bureau, this word we've been using a lot, the Department of Education or the Office of Education Bureau. Bureau is actually French for office, okay? The Bureau announced classes would be suspended until at least March 16. So we asked readers, including those about to take the HKDSE, what they thought about this. So there's a picture of Nicola Chan here. Thank you very much. Let's make this words a bit bigger so we can see it more clearly. That might be better, right? All classes at secondary schools, primary schools, kindergartens and special schools will remain, remain means they will stay, okay, remain and stay, suspended until at least March 16th, the Education Bureau announced on Thursday morning. While this is a precautionary measure, precaution, well, the word pre means before, pre, and then caution is to be careful, okay? Caution is be careful, so precautionary is to be careful before something happens. Hopefully no students have the coronavirus, but this is what we're doing. Precautionary measure to protect the safety of teaching staff and students, many local and international school students, many of whom have been homebound, that means stay at home, homebound since February the 3rd, are concerned about the indefinite. Indefinite means never ending. We don't know when it will end indefinitely. I don't know, right? Deferral, that means delay. Deferral is delay. The indefinite deferral of class resumption. Resumption means continue. Okay, resume play when you play your video games. Resumption is continue. So this opinion from Marcus Jung. Oh, missed it. There we go. Marcus Jung from this school here, 17 years old, thinks, I think the decision to suspend classes until at least March of 16 is double-edged. Double-edged means uh, like a sword. Both sides uh, could be dangerous. Okay, let's hear what he says. While students' health should be the Bureau's top priority, that word there, priority, extending the class suspension will further disrupt or disturb, further disrupt students' learning schedule and progress. I am especially worried about its effect on DSE students, including myself, because the yet to be confirmed, because nobody knows when the exams are, the yet, not yet confirmed exam schedule could put a lot of pressure on them, okay? So here, double-edged just means very dangerous, okay? Both decisions, if you open the schools, students may become sick, but if you close the schools, students' uh, education will suffer, double-edged, okay? Next student, Lao Sam Yi from St. Mary's Canosian College, who's 14. Although school closures greatly, greatly means very or really, school closures greatly affect Hong Kong students' learning, it is necessary to prevent further spread of the coronavirus in the city. We may have to struggle, that means something is very difficult, then we say we struggle, okay? We, when you do something that's not easy, okay, that's struggle. We may have to struggle to keep up with the world academically, Academically means about your studies, academically, though, especially as some of us have been idle. Wow, this word not often used, it basically means lazy, okay? So most people in Hong Kong will say lazy, some people will say idle. During the past couple of weeks, 
Okay, this is a student who prefers to remain anonymous. That means no name, okay? From Sacred Heart Canosian College. The extension was inevitable. Inevitable means uh, it will happen, okay? If you watched um, Avengers Endgame, Thanos at the end says, I am inevitable. This means it will happen, okay? Cannot stop. The extension was inevitable to ensure student safety given the current coronavirus outbreak situation. However, I could imagine DSE candidates must be very confused right now as the government still hasn't made a decision on the exam schedule. So this word here, you can say schedule, like school, sk, sk, schedule, but some people will also say schedule as well. But it's a British American English thing. For me, I would say schedule because we say school as well, S C H, right? School and schedule. The next student, well, Caitlin D'Souza from the South Island School. Caitlin D'Souza says, It is good that the Education Bureau is taking precautions and prioritizing, a little bit tricky to say, prioritizing means putting first. Priority is number one, so the verb prioritize of students' health, but there are certainly better ways of handling the situation, such as closing the border, the border from Hong Kong to China, close the border, than just shutting down schools. I'm getting tired of being at home for so long. Okay, this is a long one from Hugo Chan, St. Louis School. Hugo Chan says, I believe the indefinite, indefinite means, again, we don't know, right? Uh, we don't know when schools will reopen. The indefinite class suspension is the government's last resort. The last resort, normally we use the word resort like a hotel resort. Disneyland resort, when you go on holiday, the hotel swimming pool is a resort. But here, the last resort is the, means the last decision or the last way to do something. The government don't want to close the schools, but they have no choice. It is a last resort or a final decision. In this dire situation, dire here means very difficult, very bad, a dire situation to slow down the coronavirus outbreak. Since it has become quite evident, so here, quite evident means everyone can see it, okay? Quite evident, it is quite evident means everyone can see it. Quite evident that the virus has been spreading in Hong Kong. However, as a DSE student, I feel like I have been deprived. That means you do not have it. Someone takes something away, you deprive someone, okay? So I do not have, I deprived of the right to participate in mock exams. Participate means to join in, participate, join in. The exam days are ambiguous as well. Great word, ambiguous, means we don't know, okay, not clear. So ambiguous is a little bit like mm, indefinite, means you don't know the answer, we're not sure, ambiguous, okay. As well, and I am afraid that I won't be at the top of my game in these exams. I have been staying home for fear of being infected, but it also makes me feel quite despondent. So this word, not commonly used in Hong Kong, despondent means very sad, okay? Bithia, I think it's that Bithia Leung Yin from YMCA Hong Kong Christian College. The further extension of class suspension is not very convenient because we haven't finished learning everything covered in the GCE A-level syllabus. The syllabus here just means what you learn at school. The things you learn at school is the syllabus. Moreover, if we have any questions, we aren't able to directly ask our teachers as quickly as we could do in person. It's also a bit unfair to have our class suspended when the A-level students abroad are still in school. The next one, and I think this is the final one, from Trisha Alexis. Trisha Alexis, the Hong Kong Management Association, KS Low Secondary School. At the beginning of the class suspension, I was happy to relax at home, wake up late, and enjoy some extra free time. But as time flies, my eyes and my back begin to hurt, and I am sitting at home all day with my eyes glued to the computer screen. 
e-learning as well as not being able to go outdoors is making me lazier. At the same time, I also understand that resuming school, resuming is continuing school, now could be quite risky or quite dangerous as there are quite a few cross-border students in Hong Kong. But if you ask me whether, so here whether means if, okay, if whether I agree with the extension of school suspension, I'll say yes. Even though we're not used to e-learning, health always comes first. So that is a very good point. Thank you, Trisha Alexis. So students, as always, stay, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you soon.